Oh yeah, this is looking star. Hey, welcome back DIYers. So check out what I have here. It's a Strip Lamp Pro LED headlamp from Delphi. And it comes in this nice small little package. You get a little diagram of what it is on the back. On off switch, power display, sensor remission, what? XPE LED, Cobb LED across the front. Comes with a little power cable, sensor reception, sensor switch. We have a little list of the modes here and the approximate runtime. At 100%, it, supposed to run at two and a half hours that's pretty good and at 40 percent runs for five hours maximum output is supposed to be 350 lumens and then at 40 percent it's 150 lumens durable and stretchable headband with silicone lamp shell is adjustable to any head size super bright and five light modes illuminate up to 230 degrees and 150 feet away with the 350 lumen led lights that 150 foot claim seems a little far-fetched but <laughs> I don't know. It's not like we're going to be using it for that. So I'm sure it'll be fine. Easy to operate with one button to switch in five power modes. Applicable to various scenarios such as running, jogging, camping, hiking, fishing, bicycling, dog walking, reading, outdoor recreation, construction, emergency, etc. Doesn't list, you know, working on a car, but I think that's probably the only time I'll ever use it. <laughs> Note, no direct shining on eyes of people or animal, which may cause temporary blindness. Cobb and XPE lights, wave induction, impact resistance, water resistant, IPX4 apparently. Charging time is two and a half hours and adjustable headband. Well, let's get this thing open and actually take a look at it. Yeah, discount code right here. You can shop at odelphi.com and I'll actually have a link for it down in the description below so be sure to check that out comes in a nice little condom here wow that's really cool look how flexible this LED is you know I was not really expecting that and that is like really flexible that's nice the headband is just stretchy elastic and it comes with a USB-C charging cable it's always handy to have you know I didn't see any instructions in the box so you know hopefully we can figure this thing out looks like we have a power button and then I think this is the little sensor button all right you hit the power button once and oh, good grief that is bright look at that all right so it looks like you hit it once it's full power you hit it again it's 40 percent power hit it one more time it turns a little side light on and hit that again and it dims it and then one more time and it goes off I'm gonna turn it on here and then I'm gonna press the little sensor button here and then with a wave of your hand you can turn it on and off that's kind of fun I don't really know if that's really all that useful but I don't know <laughs> oh is this thing causing any rolling shutter oh actually that's gonna be annoying you keep hitting it and it keeps turning on and off yeah I don't know how much I'm gonna use that feature but anyway but yeah uh does it cause rolling shutter it's kind of a problem with LED lights sometimes. Like when you were using them with the camera, it causes, you know, some weird banding and stuff. But at least I'm not seeing it in the viewfinder of the camera. So yeah, maybe this thing is good to go. I like it. I can use this thing with my YouTubes. Well, if you hold the thing down, it strobes. And that is very annoying. Hit the button again and it comes out of the strobing. So let's see, how many modes was that? That's one, two, three, four, and, oh yeah, and then like if you hold it, it goes into strobe mode, and that's number five. And it looks like the charging port is back here, has a little rubber cover. That's nice, it'll keep the schmoo out of it. And obviously it's shipped with some charge in it, but I don't know, I should probably charge it up a little bit before we start playing around with this some more. So I'm gonna go throw it on the charger for a while, and we'll check it out some more in a minute. Figured y'all might wanna see like what it's like when you plug it in, this little lightning bolt on the side lights up red and I don't know I'm guessing it goes green whenever it's fully charged yeah so whenever it's fully charged that little light goes green okay I turned the overhead light off so you can kind of get a sense of how it looks yeah this light is uh I don't know it's pretty bright I guess I'll just go ahead and put it on and try to use it while filming and see how that works out all right got the headlight on see if we can locate our jack point yeah there it is right there And I'm about, you know, a foot away from the side of the car. So, yeah, this is actually 
lighting it up pretty good underneath there. All right, I've got just the headlight on, nothing else. And let's just see how it looks. Still, it looks like I can see everything nice and clear. And the camera seems to be coping with it pretty well too. Why don't you guys let me know how it looks down in the comments below. I really wanna know if this is gonna be a good light to use when filming. You know, I'm, I'm holding the camera in one hand, but it definitely is nice to go hands-free with your light. All right, now that those are broken loose, go ahead and jack her up all the way. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to put my cool gloves on so I don't get brake dust all over my hands. Well, I will say this, having the headlight right above my eyes, basically, makes it really easy to see the holes in the wheel to line up the bolts. Yeah, that's, that's nice. All right, let's get these torqued down to spec. All right, so I got the light all charged back up all the way and I have my very sophisticated timing device here. All right, I think we can still see the numbers on the clock. Let me get the time lapse going and we'll actually see how long the light lasts. All right, well, as you can see, it's gone well past its two and a half hours that it's supposed to run. And I'm kind of getting tired of, you know, waiting for the battery to actually run out on this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the test. You can see the little light is flashing on here, flashing red. So I'm guessing it's probably saying, ah, you know, it's gonna shut down any minute. And I'm sure you could tell it's definitely a lot dimmer than it was at the start. I haven't actually reviewed the footage yet, but I'm sure the rolling shutter got horrendous as the light got dimmer and dimmer. So I don't know, it'd be interesting to see how that looked on camera, but I don't know. I mean, this thing's uh, pretty darn impressive. It stayed lit a lot longer than the advertised runtime. So that's a win. So yeah, this thing is pretty neat. I definitely think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this guy. And of course, if you want one of your own, there's a link for it down in the description below. But even better news, I have one to give away. And if you wanna win this extra one here, I need you to do four things for me. One, make sure you're subscribed here on this platform. Two, give this video a like. And three, drop a comment below saying, hey, I want that headlight. And four, go to bookautoworks.com forward slash subscribe. Enter your email address and subscribe to the blog. I promise you're not signing up for a whole bunch of marketing emails or anything like that, but I'll use that email address to contact the winner. So be sure to put the right email address in there. But hey, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.